Let's calculate the electric field produced by a dipole. Consider these xy coordinates and a dipole sits on the positive x-axis. The dipole is centered at the origin and is separated by a distance d. We wish to calculate the electric field that sits at point P. For easier derivation, let's position point P along the x-axis. Let R sub B be the distance of positive charge to point P and based on the figure, it is equal to R sub P equals quantity D over 2 plus X. Also, let R sub N be the distance of the negative charge to point P and based on the figure, it is equal to R sub N equals quantity X minus D over 2. The vector sum of the electric field at point P is E sub positive plus E sub minus. E equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, absolute value of positive charge divided by quantity X plus D over 2 squared X hat plus the absolute value of negative charge divided by x minus d over 2 squared quantity negative x hat. This is negative because the electric field generated by negative charge points to the left. Extracting the common terms, electric field is equal to charge divided by 4 pi epsilon naught quantity 1 over x plus d over 2 squared minus 1 over x minus d over 2 squared and let's multiply this entire equation with 1, which is 1 over x squared divided by 1 over x squared, x hat. Then we end up with electric field equals q over 4 pi epsilon naught times 1 over x squared quantity 1 over 1 plus d over x squared minus 1 over d 1 minus d over 2x squared. Now if we bring these terms up on the numerator, We'll end up with electric field equals Q over 4 pi epsilon naught 1 over x squared quantity 1 plus D over 2x raised to negative 2 minus 1 minus D over 2x quantity raised to negative 2. Before we proceed, let me rewrite this power series that converges for absolute value of x less than 1. Using this power series, we can expand this term here, 1 plus d over 2x raised to negative 2 equals 1 plus quantity negative d over x plus blah 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 and so on. Similarly, for 1 minus d over 2x quantity raised to negative 2, we have this expansion. Since we wish to find the electric field E at points where x is way way greater than d, then we can drop these terms off because they are approximately equal to zero for x greater than d. Let's plug these approximations to the electric field. Now this factor charge times d shows up in many calculations involving electric dipole. Hence, it is convenient to give it a special name and represent it with one variable. Physicists call this factor as electric dipole moment and usually represent it as vector p equals q times vector d. And remember, this d here is the displacement vector from negative charge to positive charge. Using this concept of electric dipole moment, our previous equation becomes electric field equals P over 2 pi epsilon naught times 1 over x cubed multiplied to the direction which is negative x hat. A few comments are in order. The negative sign shows up because in this figure, we position the dipole in such a way point P is closer to the negative charge, which has electric field pointing in the negative x-axis. If it happens that positive charge is closer, then this negative sign wouldn't show up. Also, when point P is along the axis that coincides with D or the vector displacement D, electric field dies off at 1 over R cube rate. 
Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.